Hello everybody. My name is Mr. Smart and I am your teacher here and I welcome you on behalf of classtheta.com. This platform is basically about answering different questions and answers and we are here to assist you for your better studies. As for today's in our question series, our today's question which we will be discussing is a diagram. So let's go into it. So there are two structures members P and C bolted to a bracket A. The diagram is given below. Knowing that both members are in tension and that P equal to 10 kN and Q is equal to 15 kN. Determine graphically the magnitude and direction of the result resultant force ex exerted on the bracket using it. The parallelogram law and the triangle law. So we have given a diagram below what it's asking us is determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force exerted on the bracket using a parallelogram law and triangle law. The image is given us the blue. So to determine the answer of the question is to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force exerted in bracket A, we can use parallelogram law and triangle law. Let's discuss the parallelogram law first. So we have to draw a vector diagram representing the force at P and Q where the length of each vector represents the magnitude of the force and the direction represents the direction of the force. Step 2 we are going to take is the draw parallelogram with sides representing the vector P and Q. The diagonal, uh, the diagonal of the parallelogram represents the resultant of the force R. My here the length of the di diagonal using a ruler and the direction of the diagonal using a protector. The length of the diagonal represents the magnitude of the resultant force R and the direction of the diagonal represents the direction of the resultant force. The step 4 which we are going to take is basically using the uh, parallelogram. We can see that the magnitude of the resultant force R approximately 8.4 kN and the direction is approximately 37 degree with the positive x axis. Now we are going to discuss the second part of the question which is the triangle rule. We first we have to draw a vector diagram representing the force P where the length of the vector represents the magnitude of the force and the direction represents the direction of the force. The step 2 which we are going to take is to draw a vector representing the force Q where the length of the vector represents the magnitude of the force and the direction represents the direction of the force. This is very important. Step 3 which we are going to take is to draw the vector representing the negative of the force P where the length of the vector represents the magnitude of the force and the direction is opposite to the direction of the force P. Step 4 which we are going to take for the triangulogram is to draw a line from a tail of the vector representing the force Q to the head of the vector representing the negative of the force P. I am going to repeat this line again because it is going to be very tricky. Draw a line from the tail of the vector representing the force Q to the head of the vector representing the negative of the force P. The line represents the resultant force R. Step 5. Measure the length of the line, ruler, direction of the line using protector. Step 6 which we the, which we are going to take is the length of the line represents the magnitude of the resultant force R and the direction of the line represents the direction of the resultant force R. So you can draw the diagram by yourself now. I let it be on you. If you cannot draw the lines or graphs, you can leave on the comment section and I will give you the diagram as well. So by triangulogram rule, using the triangulogram, we can see that the magnitude of the resultant force R is approximately 18.4 and the direction is approximately 37 degree positive axis, which is same as the result of obtained from the parallelogram law. That's the correct answer. If you have more questions to ask, you can go to the classtheta.com and ask any question you have by filling out the requirements form of ask question and uh, we will gladly like to answer you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and help the community to build a much stronger community which can help students to achieve their